Hello, my name's Lisa and if this is your first time here then thank you very much for choosing to click on this video. If you are a returning subscriber then just know that I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Today's video is coming from Jessie Lee Ward. There are a couple of things I would like to say before diving in though. This video was two and a half hours long and I have spent one whole day editing it and removing all the parts where Jessie Lee is counting and packing her ketones. Avi Ram is there with Jessie Lee during this process and I've removed I think 99% of what he says for two reasons. The first one being he's nowhere near the microphone and it's extremely difficult to hear what he says and in my opinion there's only one point in the video where he actually says anything of relevance which is nothing to do with actually packing the trials and that's what he's pretty much talking about the rest of the time and just to let you know the reason i make these videos regarding jesse lee ward is because people could be put in serious harm or even die by listening to the medical advice that jesse lee ward gives out and i don't think that is right so i'm making this video to educate other people. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a medical professional in any way, but I still have an opinion. There are going to be quite a few trigger warnings in this video. Jessie Lee is going to be giving advice on people who have cancer and there are going to be other trigger warnings throughout the video as they come along. A lot of the advice that Jessie Lee gives is very dangerous in my opinion and so if you want to know the kind of advice that she gives out to people then listen to the end because the advice goes all the way to the end and some parts of the end are quite disturbing and other parts could be described as quite amusing so let's just dive in shall we Hello, hello, everybody. What is going on? It's Jessie Lee. You can call me hashtag boss Lee, other people's mentor. I help people make I help people make six to seven figures online from their phone. Uh, and I also have my favorite human in the world. Who's here? Oh, he's not saying hi. That's okay. Hello, hello, everybody. Avi's here. Avi Ram's here. Um, and so we are going to pack up your trials live. Um, and then also, in case you haven't already heard, uh, enrollment for the Boss Lee Accelerator is open. It is open through July 4th. So if you want to join me as a uh, and have me as your business coach, um, go ahead through the link in the bio as well, and you can find everything. If you get a little lost, it's just on bossly.com under coaching. I hear all the time on these videos with Bossly that her coaching has opened. Can any of you let me know in the comments if you've ever known it to be closed, please? And she says, would we like to join her? Well, for me, that's a hard no. Mallory says, hello, beautiful. I love how you guys do all this together. Thanks. Um, so how do I talk so fast? I don't know. I think in another life, I was probably a um, an auctioneer. You know, so if you guys want me to auction some stuff off, you just let me know. I've got a one, two, three for the show. Uh, what can I say? So hello, billionaire tornado over here on TikTok. How are you? All right. So Central California, sure. Where is everybody watching from? Let's talk about that. Where is everybody watching from? See me in DC soon. That is true. That is a fact. I'm very excited. Hello, Renee, by the way. Yes, so we are excited. We will, yes, we do question and answers when we're on here, so you can ask questions. Asking for a friend here, Jessie Lee, but why do you only answer certain questions? Why don't you answer them all? You say it's okay to ask questions and you will answer them, but you don't. 
Uh, when do I come to Switzerland? Soon, I am sure, because uh, obviously I spend a lot of time in Germany and then Switzerland touches me. All right, so the first order is Paula Rodriguez and her order is over $500. One thing I think is really wrong when Jessie Lee is packing the trials, she should not be saying the people's names. She should not be saying how much money they have spent and she waves those address labels around and people could actually take screenshots of them and get the full name of the person and their address. I mean, surely that's not allowed, is it? I wouldn't be too happy if someone got my address that way and, and my name. I mean, anything could happen, couldn't it? Am I still a consultant and, a, and VP? I am. So I am still number one in the company. Uh, catch me if you can. Uh, but yeah, so what can I say? Uh, are you guys getting married? Are you guys getting married? We'll get married eventually. There's process to this, you know, like there's step by step. You guys, uh, you'll know, you know, there will probably be, you know, it's me. I'm pretty public. All right. So, um, and I, I mean, well, you'll know when we want you to know. Let's say it like that. Do you agree with that, babe? There's a pretty huge stumbling block at the moment to you and Avi Ram getting married, though Jesse isn't there. Mainly the fact that he's already married. He hasn't got divorced and he also has three children. So yeah, it's definitely a step-by-step -step process. And it's one I could quite imagine that you absolutely hate, seeing you like to be in control of everything, don't you? We'll be married and you'll be like, what? <laughs> all right uh let's see i own a lot of different businesses yeah but uh, um and then of course prove it what can i say you want some cake all right so um i don't think i'd be an eloper you know i did i i don't know if i'm an eloper i'm more of like a wedding kind of person you, know? you love to be the center of attention so yes i could quite imagine that you and eloping would never come into the same sentence you know you've got to be the bride with the mostest so yeah that would be a big splash i can picture it now instagram what yes um, so I'm not sure if you could actually hear what Avi Ram said there, but he asked if the box that she gave him for the freebies was to go into the pack that he's making up. And did you see the way she answered him so flippantly? Yes! You know, as if to say, well, didn't I just say that? Do you really have to speak to people like that? the trials. I feel great. Thank you. Here's Wookie Lee, by the way. Oh, and like announcements, I guess. It's not really that big of an announcement to you guys. I'm really listening to my body with this whole cancer thing. If you don't know, I'm currently healing from a diagnosis of stage four colon cancer. And I did the keto thing legit for two and a half, three weeks. And I just did not feel good. I felt like my digestion uh, slowed way down. I felt like something was wrong all the time. My stomach hurt. I'm like, this is not good. I feel like that's a bit of a contradiction coming from you there, Jessie Lee. You sell ketones and you take great delight in telling people that they put you into ketosis and yet you go on a keto diet and it doesn't make you feel great. Well, I find that quite confusing. If your body is in ketosis from the amount of ketones that you drink in a day, then why would you go on the keto diet and why didn't you feel so great? Um, and so after getting out of the hospital, I was in the ER on Saturday, for those of you who don't know, last Saturday, so a week ago, I just made the decision I really just need to listen to my body and I'm back to vegan. So back to vegan, back to my juice. I already feel better. It's been like a couple of days. So really excited about that. Listen to your body at all times. How do you, it seems like it tanked your energy. Thank you for saying that, Jesse Rice Greenlow. Okay, I felt like I was on my lives with you guys, like having to talk to you, like, hey guys, how are you? Like, get it together, Jesse Lee. Watching from this side of the fence on some of your lives, I can honestly say it didn't seem like that from this side of the fence. It just seemed like you had boundless energy like you always do. Mind you, that's just a front that you put on for your lives, isn't it? So...
And just a couple of days of no no more animal products at all. And then uh, my got my juice back. This is beets, carrots, ginger, turmeric, um, my apple. What else do I put in here? I don't even know. Ooh, citrus. There's lime in there. Um, I love it. I already feel better. I'm glowing. Thank you. Also got 300 billion stem cells yesterday. So in my hand over here. So you see my little bruise. If anyone's wondering what my wound is from. My wound is from stem cells. Uh, which is pretty cool. It's 300 billion exosomes. Umbilical exosomes. Which is a great reason to. Hey, I'm going to give you. Let me, let me tell you something. Is anyone pregnant watching this? Carissa, hi, happy birthday. We got the best assistant ever over here, watching live. We love her. Happy birthday, Carissa. Anyone, 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 anyone? No, no one's pregnant. Okay, that's okay, I'm still gonna tell you. So tell your friends who are pregnant, Carissa, don't stop, you're so wonderful. We wanted to surprise you. Uh, so <laughs> you deserve it, you earned it. So if anyone is pregnant or if anyone you know is pregnant, Here's the deal, okay? When your baby is born, you need to do delayed cord clamping. And delayed cord clamping is not five minutes. It's not even 15 minutes. It's literally an hour post-birth. That is when the umbilical cord can be clamped and cut. And if you don't know why, it's because all of the stuff in there, all of the stem cells in there, all of the blood inside of there is intended to be for your newborn child okay so when someone's like clamp it we gotta clamp it no you don't it literally should be completely white white it should not be pulsing at all it should be bleh, done okay are you playing the role of pretend doctor there again jesse lee not everything happens the way you say it does and that is because going to become even more apparent as we go through this video so as i said i'm a mum of multiple children and in my experience none of the calls were clamped straight away with any of the births i don't know if it's different in the us but in the uk that's not exactly how it works not in the way that you're describing at any rate so you tell your friends because otherwise what happens in the hospitals, they sell them, if you don't know, this is not a conspiracy theory. The reason they're clamping so quickly is because they're selling them. And uh, I just bought a whole bunch, all right? I bought a whole bunch to help with cancer, okay? So uh, and a lot of people do it to look younger. They're injecting it in their head. They're injecting it in their scalps or hair. Men are doing that. They're doing stem cell facials. Foreskins too, by the way. If you're cutting off your son's foreskin, you might want to stop that too. That also gets sold and turned into face cream. I'm not being like creepy, by the way. This is a fact. You guys can look it up. Are you 100% certain that you're sure about that? That it is a fact? Do you want to phone a friend? Ask the audience, maybe? Um, so I'm all about just leave your children whole. Uh, let them have all their stem cells. Let them have all their blood and goodies and whatever. Thank you for your order. We're in a conversation about stem cells, but thank you for your order. Uh, appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so if you don't know about that, this is all true. So uh, tell all your pregnant friends, okay? Tell all your pregnant friends to let that, put that cord. Bah, 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 bah. But anyway, I've got 300 billion. 300 billion stem cells in me. So maybe that's why I look so good. I have this little like, what is going on here? My hair is so wavy. I didn't know I had wavy hair. All right. How can you get to 34 years of age and not know that you had wavy hair? Seriously? Sometimes you just say the most ridiculous thing. We really have to pack some ketones, don't we? All right, so I will ask Aviron what his favorite Israeli food is when he comes back. Um, he took a phone call with his beloved babies. He's taking a phone call with his beloved baby. Well, it has been alleged that he's not actually paying for the upkeep of his baby. So that doesn't really suggest that he loves them that much to me. Obviously, that is just my opinion. Uh, advocate hard. Your doctor wouldn't wait. Oh, yeah. You got to basically punch your doctor in the throat. <laughs> This is how Jesse Lee doesn't let doctors get started. Um, I'm very big on midwives, though. Very big on midwives and doulas. So big fan, big fan. I know I'm right. I do feel great. Thank you. All right, so back to back to vegan and feeling fine, feeling fine. Natural home birth for your boys. Maryland, see, 
See, I, kn I knew. I knew you were my person. I've known you're my person for a while. Now I know you're my person for real, for sure. Why did I do keto? My doctor in Germany actually was the one who said, you, I need you to go keto. It will help with cancer, uh, making it smaller, blah, 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 blah. I felt like crap. The doctor in Germany that's telling you to go keto, is he a registered certified medical doctor? I think the answer to that is no. Uh, so what's the update on the cancer? Uh, well, first of all, follow me on TikTok. That's where I do my updates for cancer stuff. Mossy darling. Uh, but also, I'm very excited. I'm very popular on YouTube and not because of me, okay? Like, my YouTube channel is kind of poor. Poor showing, I would say. There's some stuff on YouTube of mine, but like, mm, I have almost 18,000 subscribers on YouTube and I don't think I could take credit for all of them. So, uh, with that said, I'm very excited because two days ago is when I filmed my first video um, where I'm taking you guys on the entire cancer journey. So, uh, I'm gonna do like 20 to 30 minute uh, like series of, and stuff. And the I have a question. How many of you, it's just Jesse Lee Ward, by the way, because uh, you say, what is your YouTube channel name? I think just Jesse Lee Ward. So, my... Uh, uh, is anyone else like this? I take photos and screenshots of everything. Stuff that doesn't even make sense, I have photos of. So it's impossible to lie to me or lie about me or lie about people in my life or lie about situations. And people are like, why does she always take people to court? I don't take everyone to court. But if I take you to court, you're very screwed because I have receipts of everything. And even if we're on a phone call, I recorded it, hoping that at some point it will be admissible in court if I need it. I don't know why. You record people while they are talking to you on the phone. Well, in my opinion, that makes you extremely insecure. I know you come from Texas and you are allowed to do that. But in many other US states, you're not allowed to legally record people without their consent. If you're flying in and out of Europe, in a great many of those countries, you're not allowed to record people without their consent. And if you do, and you presented it as evidence in court, it would be inadmissible because you broke the law to obtain it. Like, I feel like maybe I was a detective in a past life or something. Is anyone else with me? It's ridiculous. I screenshot everything i walk into a, any all the time i'm just take i'm taking pictures like a crazy person i don't know why so i'm excited because the youtube like basically documentary the youtube doc doc documentary basically is going to be so easy to do for me because i have photos from everything i took a photo when i walked in at 6 a.m for the colonoscopy. I took a photo, I took two photos with the selfies. One, when I'm about to get it done, one where I have the little pin things like on my body, I have photos of both of them. The amount of photos I have of my surgery, I thought to take videos to walk into the bathroom right before surgery and be like, this is the last time my stomach's gonna look like this. I do like a whole, like whatever. I talk about my belly button. I show exactly where the surgery's gonna be. I have screenshots with me arguing with my first doctor. Uh, I, I have I have. I sincerely hope when you're sharing your cancer journey that you're not going to be giving people medical advice like you do in these lives. I have this first, I, the first person I texted that I had cancer because I had just flown on his private jet was my CEO. I have that screenshot. Why? I don't know. Probably because I was like, oh, uh, I, he's like, how was the phone call? Because he, the reason I stopped in Kentucky, all oh, this is whatever. The reason I stopped in Kentucky was because I had to drop him off on the jet before I flew the jet back to Texas. The way you've made that come across makes it sound as if the private jet was yours. But it isn't, is it? It belongs to the CEO of Prove It, the guy you just dropped off. So he was like, hey, how was the call you were on? And I was like, the call was not good. I have cancer, right? He's like, what the f Like, it's just, I have so much, I have everything documented. So yes, writing the book will be very easy, but also um, I sent, I think like 85 photos just leading up to diagnosis to the video editor. Cause he's going to do all like the superimposing whatever. Um, I just do it naturally. So like today I could show you the entire day. I'm just, I, 
I take my phone out really fast. Like everything I do is just like, I'm like, oh yeah, like, I don't know. I just, I, whoopsies. Um, I literally just go, you know, I'm okay. I'll screenshot, screenshot, screen, like I, I might even just randomly screenshot that. You are the most suspicious person I have ever come across. I don't even understand it. So you guys are like this too. Um, so yeah, super difficult to lie to me. Super difficult to lie about me. Uh, and I pay attention to everything. I find that totally hilarious that you're saying you pay attention to everything. Because in every single video you make, you contradict yourself constantly. So that's not much attention on your part, is it? And we don't need to lie about you. You just tell lies yourself. And then you record yourself telling lies. And content creators like me download your videos, whether you've removed them or not. It's too late because most people who want them have already got them. And then your lies can be exposed. For someone who's supposed to be very intelligent, at times you are not very bright, are you? Hi, Courtney Shepard Besser, and I love you too. Have I looked into fasting? Yes, I'm actually, so I'm going to be doing stuff. So my doctor actually said I should look into treatment in um, some treatments in Mexico that'll be easier to travel to. Obviously, he has a partner in Mexico who can do a bunch of uh, a bunch of the similar treatments. Not all the same ones, but some similar treatments. And then also some stuff in Malibu. I actually paid for today, so I'm very excited for that too. So I actually get to stay on this time zone a bit more, which will be really cool. Um, and I'm excited about that. However, uh, proof is in the photos, right? Like, hey, like I guess it drives me crazy when people are like, oh, "I have the proof." I'm like. Like when it's somebody talking about me and I'm, I just want to be like, no, but really like I have the truth. I could bury anybody who's talking badly about me, but I just make the decision to say, Hey, is it worth it or not? You know, like, is it really worth the argument? Is it worth the lawsuit? Is it worth the drama? Like if I'm in the middle of an argument with someone, it's like, what are you talking about? I would love to see you bury me. So anyway, back to the fasting thing. Um, after I go to Mal, I think I'm gonna go to Malibu, maybe in a, 10 days or something like that for a treatment. That's what my German doctor wants me to do. Uh, and I'm excited about that too. Uh, and I'll tell you about that, Courtney, because I haven't told you about that yet. But anyway, anyway, uh, after that, I am considering a, uh, an extended fast, an extended dry fast. So I went, dry, I dry fasted one day, was really easy. Um, really easy honestly so i was gonna do three days this week i might still i'm not opposed to it yet i want to see maybe a three-day dry fast just see how it goes uh and then i really want to do a 12 day if i do 12 day dry fasting <laughs> which makes me a little nervous i will do it in ireland more more than likely uh and in ireland the climate is perfect for it so i'm friends with someone who's done three 21 day dry fasts and he has a whole fasting community. You can check him out. It's just fasting by Trevor. I tagged him in something the other day. But uh, yeah, Trevor is, is a badass. And uh, at any rate, so he um, he's kind of he's kind of walking through a lot of it. He's like, make sure you're taking your iodine leading up to it. You need to make sure that you're super hydrated. It's, it can be dangerous if you're not. He talked about all the warning signs. Uh, and I also picked, um, I've picked Ireland partially also because of English. So partially because of English. So dry fasting is no water and no food for as long as you can go. Trevor is not a medical doctor. So why on earth are you listening to him? Just because he has trained his body to do a 21 day dry fast, that doesn't mean that anyone can just do it. You said he's talked you through the dangers of it. Well, perhaps that is the information you should be sharing to people on this video and explaining to them the dangers of it. And one of them is actually death. You can die from doing dry fasting because you become so weak through lack of food and especially water that it can have catastrophic results. So you don't just do a 12 day fast or a 21 day fast. You need to build up to it. Perhaps that's the information you should be giving people, Jessie Lee. Um, there's that. So pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so I've never done it before except for that one day. Uh, and it was, like I said, super easy. So we'll see. We will see. All right. Yes. Dry. Like literally you're sitting there like, <gasps> but the concept of course is that all of the stuff 
in your body, when there's nothing left for your body to, to do, it eats everything. Okay. Are you honestly suggesting that by doing a dry fast, it's going to eat any cancer in your body? I just can't with you. There is so much more I could say about that, but I just can't. Some of the things you say are just incredulous. If you don't know, uh, I've been diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. So, um, and it's, 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 a, it's crazy. Like the decision to not do chemotherapy was because I was told I would have zero, uh, zero quality of life, perhaps living two and a half years. And they told me I'd be dead by October. And uh, I feel like I am, I am thriving. And I took this damn pick line out and <sighs> where's the coughing, baby? It's really good to see that you're not coughing anymore, but no one told you to put the pick line in. You did that off of your own back. It was your decision and you did it privately. No doctor told you to have that pick line put in, did they? Trigger warning for the next 10 seconds. Jesse Lee is going to be talking about cancer and death. To, uh, so I'm going to read this comment. It's going to trigger some people. So here's like a trigger warning. The amount of comments that I've seen like this is also part of the reason why I made the decision because it was overwhelming. So trigger warning. My dad and little brother passed from colon cancer and the chemotherapy killed them. I hear comments like that constantly. That comment right there is the sort of information that I mean that is misleading. The chemotherapy didn't kill those people. The cancer in their bodies is what killed them. And it is nice to see that you do actually know how to give a trigger warning, finally. I've also done a ton of research. A ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of research. It basically increases life expectancy by about 3%, and it is not in order to have a cure. There is no cure according to uh, traditional oncologists. So... Uh, you do whatever you want, please, dear God, follow your own path, do whatever you want to do. Um, please, 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 please. Uh, I'm not giving you any kind of uh, medical advice or anything like that. I'm taking you on my journey. I was the one who was diagnosed. I'm guessing you guys were not with, uh, with stage four colon cancer, not you guys, right? So um, just keeping that in mind, you know, what can I say? In that section of the video, you're saying that you're not giving medical advice, you're just sharing your journey. But as this video progresses, you get asked some questions about cancer, and you do advise one of the people who asks a question to tell her husband what he should do. Well, surely your advice, you're giving medical advice, aren't you? All right, so... And this is a great example of I wish people had any idea what they were talking about. Um, for those of you that are trying to pleasantly watch this on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know how to create it. Um create a, uh, create a, create a, what do you call it? Um, uh, a moderator, but that would probably be useful too. So it's okay. Be careful with, um, fasting. You didn't eat or drink for nine days. No, um, eat or drink for nine days and land in the hospital. Yeah, we well, have to be careful. So I've been told to make sure that I have uh, I pay attention to my kidneys and that I also pay attention to my heart rate. So you should be tracking, you should be um, tracking your heart rate a lot. So anyway, uh, anyway, if you're not doing, I'm doing a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. So exactly. That's why I'm like, so these people that think that they have any idea what this incredible liar is talking about, understand that there are always, well, there's always more than one side of the story. I'll basically leave it at that. Uh, there's always another side of the story. I know the other side of the story. I have all the screenshots of the other side of the story and you do not. Maybe for a lot of you, that little section of the video was confusing. And if you don't know what she's talking about, on her line, some people from the anti-MLM community actually went to her live and asked her some questions. Now, at the beginning, she, you could ask questions and she would answer. Well, that's an example of her actually not answering the question. And she's saying that what the people were saying in the comments is a lie. Well, it's actually not a lie, what's, what was being said. I wish I had screenshotted 
what was being said before she deleted it and blocked the people but unfortunately I wasn't quite quick enough but what people were asking was why the married man she is seeing is not providing for his wife and children and Jessie Lee is saying that people don't know what they're talking about but they do because there has been a GoFundMe set up for Avri Ram's wife and children and there are certain people in the anti-MLM community that are in contact with certain people that know her so actually yes people do know what they're talking about. Not only screenshots but I have all the information so Please be a little bit more intelligent about that, okay? All right, so the name of the drive fast guy is um, uh, Fasting by Trevor. Fasting by Trevor, T R E V O R. All right, so, uh, and for those of you who lost people because of this, by all means, um, I want to send my condolences, honestly. Oh, yeah, can I just make you? Yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. I feel like I need to make sure I, I make someone a moderator that, like, I see them all the time on my live. Not just like make someone a moderator who's like, I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so where's my, my common my common peeps? Okay, but in all seriousness, let me go ahead. Um, I am trying to educate people on other options, correct? Oh, Carissa is on here. Carissa, I will make you a moderator. I know that you're you're good to go. So I think you can block people so I can I feel sorry for poor Clarissa there. She is actually Jessie Lee Ward's assistant. It's her night off and it's actually her birthday as well. So rather than being out celebrating, she's now moderating the chat. Alright, so one, two and then when you need to go, because it is your birthday, let me know and I will definitely make someone else moderator. Okay? No, it's a great example of they don't know what they're talking about, but they're like really obsessed with people on the internet. We're not obsessed with people on the internet. We're just very interested in what you have to say because it changes practically every time you open your mouth. So we keep looking forward to what's going to happen next. It's a bit like car crash TV when you can't take your eyes off the screen. For sure, my skin looks airbrushed. Really? Does my skin look airbrushed? It's kind of funny. I had, um, I used to have my skin being my biggest insecurity. I don't know about you guys, but I, I felt like, uh, no, I, it's not even a feeling. It was my biggest insecurity. My skin, I had cystic acne all through here. Uh, one of the biggest things I did was explanting. I had an explant in, um, 2019. It was a, it was a, it was a big difference. So you had an explant. Was that because you were suffering from imposter syndrome, maybe? Do I take any collagen? I don't take any collagen. I'm not doing anything animal-based. So, and the only way you're going to have collagen that really works is if it's animal-based, just so you guys know. So, I should be... Bryn, you're my girl anyway, but, like, really? Skincare commercials. I really have nothing at all on my skin, if I swear to you. Um, this is it. Oh, and an explant. So I got implants put in when I was 22 years old, and then I explanted nine years later. Um, and I didn't even, I didn't even do it like intentionally, like thinking that that would happen. I just knew I had bad skin. It was like as soon as I came out, the whites of my eyes were whiter, and then like it was crazy. So, how much coffee did I have today? None. I don't drink coffee. Never actually had a cup of coffee. How much coffee have you had today? None. Well, how many coffee enemas have you done then? Is that also none? Because if I remember rightly, coming up in this video, you're going to say that you've done two coffee enemas. So that means that caffeinated coffee has entered into your system. So technically, that means you have had caffeine today. You smile every time you see my face. Ah, thank you, Linda. Semolina's cream of wheat. Oh, um, Carissa, who knows me and sees me every single day, says, trust me, I know it's sad people who choose to ma manipulate others and spread false info. Carissa's seen the screenshots too. We, we love a Carissa. Are you saying, Jessie Lee, that you're not a manipulator? You don't manipulate people to buy your ketones and to join your business. Well, I happen to think that you do. You want to hear him to talk more because you love his voice. His voice it's so relaxing. Yeah, we have very different personalities. <laughs> uh, so I love that. Yes, the link is pinned as well. Okay, so 
The crazies on Facebook are out lately. I know. I love it when you say things like the crazies are out on Facebook because you're always saying to people that what anyone says doesn't bother you. But it obviously does. Otherwise, you wouldn't be calling them crazies or haters. And you wouldn't be blocking them either. Oh, we are fun. Thank you. Can you ask questions? Yes. And if it won't let you click, if it won't let you click on it, it's still the link in my bio or just go to bossly.com. It's super easy. It's the trial link. Sarah, how are you? Yeah. All right, here we go. And Carissa, I think we're good. So I think it's calmed down. So you can probably have a good time of your, uh, the rest. Oh, as soon as I say that. Why, why, why? Oh my gosh. I wish you guys knew what you were talking about, but you just don't go chasing waterfalls. The problem there, Jesse Lee, is they do know what they're talking about. And that's why they're coming to visit you to ask their questions. Because they do know a lot more than you think they do. Uh, but I like at least the part you seem really nice. I am really nice. It's true. Thank you. Uh, these are slip. Yeah, these are Ugg slippers. I, I, when I'm standing on the hardwood floors, my feet are like, uh, uh, uh. Um, Shavuot. 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 Tov. What's that mean? Good week. Good week. Because Shabbat is over. It's Arya. He says it. Okay. Arya. 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 I gotta learn how to say your name, man. You're my friend. Okay. What? Arya. 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 Arya is a lion. Arya. A lion. Yeah. I like it. I really do. Um, okay. So I've got Matthew Everett. Matthew Everett with the next order. Is it going to um, flow villa? Do you see what I mean there? Not only does she say the person's name, but she says where it's actually going. That just cannot be right. Oh my gosh, if you guys give money to something that is fraud, shame on you. The comment there about people giving money to something that is fraud and shame on us is directed at the fact that somebody put the GoFundMe for her married lovers wife and children into her chat and she thinks it's a fraud well everyone is entitled to their opinion and anyone that knows anything about the gofundme has it on good authority and has thoroughly researched the fact that it is real that what is happening is actually happening so people out there also have proof ma'am okay so and putting it in my comments oh that's trashy is it trashy in your opinion because you're living with the man who's causing the need for the gofundme in the first place what have i been doing as vp a lot behind the scenes like I can't really talk about some of the stuff, but I'm really excited. And uh, there's already been a lot of changes that if you're in the field, you've already noticed. And it makes me very happy and very proud of what we're doing. And a lot more to come. And a lot more to come. So, um, so excited about that. So, love this. <laughs> oh, you guys have no idea what you're talking about. What I find really fascinating about what's going on in this chat is how much notice of it you are taking. If people really didn't know what they were talking about, you would just totally ignore it and carry on as if it wasn't being said, surely. After I saw your mom, you definitely don't have injections, you're twins. I, I didn't realize it really until we were side by side um, on that video a couple, like what, last week. I'm like, your cheeks are the exact same, like this crazy height here that I know people pay for or whatever. Like, I'm like, mom, you have some good flipping jeans. Well, we finally come to a part in the video where I can actually say something positive. And I am really happy that you have made it up with your mom and that you spent some time with her. And you're right, you do look very much alike. So there's doctors in Mexico and then also in um in southern california that my doctor is comfortable with me using here to make some of the travel a little bit easier i have a really hard time finding proper food in germany actually so i mean it's gonna sound crazy but i'm really obsessed with my i'm obsessed with my juicer <laughs> really obsessed with my juicer. are you really obsessed with your juicer or is it the fact that it's so expensive and you've got an affiliate link 
from the company that you're making money from. Uh, guys, I appreciate you. Trust me, I know the Jewish law. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, what is the movie or documentary about fish? It is called Sea Spiracy. Sea Spiracy. And yes, I asked him. Uh, look, people are people are thinking that I'm like like free balling this cancer thing, which is kind of crazy. Even if I were, uh, which I am not. Um, uh, people online seem to think that I'm just doing crazy things, but that's okay. Because you document at least 90% of your life, it's not that we think that you are doing crazy things. You actually keep showing us that you are doing crazy things. Oh, I did have a call with him. Yes. Oh, you did have a call. I forgot, but I remember now. I had the call right there in my room. He FaceTimed me. Uh, I was like, wait, did I have a call with the doctor? Yes. My days are running together. Did I screenshot the call? What do you guys think? Come on, come on, my people. Come on, my people. Do you think that I want that I screenshot the call with the doctor yesterday? Of course I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yes, of course you did. You screenshotted with the doctor, but actually, should you be doing that? That's the question. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, very cringy for people to believe stuff with no evidence. Agreed! Who says people don't have evidence? And what makes me laugh about people on your lives is they stand up for you, but they've got no evidence what you're saying is true, have they? Don't, don't support fraud. Don't recommend it. Don't recommend doing that. Don't recommend it. Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. Don't recommend. That comment would suggest that somebody's put the GoFundMe in her comments again. So whoever did that and got themselves blocked, I'm glad that you put it in the comments, but obviously it's not good you got blocked. Um, what did you do? Oh, the cold plunge. Okay, he didn't answer the question, <laughs> but I'll answer the question. Um, Sorry, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm packing. It's okay. I'm busy. <laughs> Avi Ram's packing the trials. He's busy. Wow, he has to earn his keep somehow, doesn't he? Next up is where the lady asks Jesse Lee's advice because her husband has been diagnosed with cancer. So we're going to listen to the advice that you give this lady that you say that you don't do, Jesse Lee. Okay, Stephanie, my husband was just diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer. I'm so overwhelmed with where to start. We're inspired by your natural approach. Where should we start? Thank you. We continue to for you as well. First of all, let me send you a ton of love. To you and your husband, your whole family, your friends, everybody, and anybody who's affected by anything like this. The first thing I will say is breathe. And I know they tell you, this is a fast growing cancer. Ah! Okay, look, they don't actually know that. Okay, they don't know that until another scan where they can see if it's quickly growing. or. That may be true to a point, but they are medical doctors. They have seen hundreds, if not thousands of different cancers and they pretty much know whether it's aggressive or not before you have your next scan. So please listen to what they have to say. It's not growing. So breathe. You have options. The second thing I would do is I would actually check out someone named Season Johnson. If you don't know her, she's on Instagram, TikTok, probably Facebook, probably whatever her website. There's a ton of natural resources. Big fan. Also check out Chris Wark. Chris Beat Cancer. He is amazing. He's the reason I got into juicing. The other thing I'll say is I really want you guys to start, tell your husband this. Listen to his body. So when he's like, no, I don't feel good about that. Yes, I feel good about that. No, I don't feel good about that. Yes, I feel good about that. Do that. Um, and I'm not anti-chemo, by the way. So if it's so stage three means it's metastasized somewhere nearby, um, which is great. Just stay positive about it. It could be it could be in his liver, it could be in his lungs, it could be wherever, like, like pray, you know? Um, praise God, it's not in those places. And I would tell him, you know, keep thinking forward, think super positively, because ultimately the only person who has a final say is God, in my opinion, not a doctor, not anybody. And so, you know, give yourself that fighting chance. Also, just listen, if you wanna win this, in my opinion, you have to change everything. 
So whatever he's eating, whatever he's drinking, whatever he's doing, the stress he's creating, whatever all these things are, not good. If he's got any kind of anger in him, you know, guilt in him, resentment in him, he's fighting with people, he's doing all these things, like you cannot. I've done energy healing. I've gone to shamans. I've had forgiveness. Like I've never had forgiveness. You're going to have to flip your entire world upside down. Um, Medical medium is a great resource as well. So I absolutely agree with that for sure. hundred percent. You're not giving this lady any advice though, are you? According to you, you don't give advice. And this medical medium, is he a medical practitioner? And if he's not, why should anybody listen to him? Um, I would also say talk to, tell him to, yes, talk to his doctor and pick a doctor he trusts. But I'll also say what's really important is I don't talk to people. I don't let the noise get crazy that are not in a similar or same ish experience. Meaning I've been talking to cancer survivors. I've been talking to people who, uh, you know, have, have beat this, have actually cured from this and we're told it was impossible. So just make sure he's surrounding himself with the right people. It really, that's what I would probably say to your husband. And I would just say, look, you know, just stay ridiculously positive. Nobody knows what nobody knows. And Really listen, please listen to your body. Listen to your body, listen to your body, listen to your body. And then uh, tell him to reach out to me if he wants to chat a little bit. Um, I don't know everything, but I, but I can tell him things that, have, that I feel like have worked for me. And I tell him to start putting coffee up his butt. <laughs> but for real though, I love those coffee enemas. Okay. But for real though, do you see what I mean there? She's telling him to put coffee enemas up his butt. Don't do it. It is extremely dangerous and it can actually kill you if you do it wrong. <sighs> can you explain the coffee enema? I'm intrigued. Yeah! So when you are, uh, energy really is everything, yes. So when you are just overloading your body with nutrients, I didn't say quick coffee, I said, said put coffee up your butt, which probably makes it sound like I'm like coffee. No, no, I'm not saying F coffee. I'm saying put the coffee up your actual butt hole. <laughs> okay. Like that's what I'm actually saying to do. All right. So, so here's, here's the deal. So, uh, I do a coffee out of my multiple times a day. I'm about to do another one actually before bed, which I'm always forever and always excited about. But you don't have caffeine, do you? Well, according to you, your coffee enemas are made with coffee that has caffeine in it. So you are not caffeine free, are you? So it gives you mental clarity and energy like you, you'll, you're, you're pretty much never gonna experience ever before. But when you are overloading with vitamins, it dumps toxins then into your into your liver, right? Like that's what happens is your liver starts to have a really heavy um, toxic load. You're fine with the expired ketones, by the way. Yes, I've drank ketones that are expired like four years. It was kind of crazy, but whatever. Not that I recommend that. All right, but anyway. Um, it dumps into your into your liver and then it overloads your kidneys too. So when you do the coffee enema, it actually stimulates your gallbladder and your liver and you'll like feel it like, ugh, ugh. Uh, and it just keeps like, you you hold it as long as you can, 15 minutes. Uh, and then I do even longer, obviously. Uh, well, is how, how far I've got. Um, but at any rate, so I love it. I feel incredible. It's one of those things that I just... Why are you overloading your liver and kidneys in the first place? If you weren't taking all of those supplements, then you wouldn't be overloading those organs. And if you desperately need to poo, drinking coffee will make you do that because it's a diuretic. Hooray! Why didn't you tell me about all this magic manifestation stuff or did it just go over my head? I've been talking about visualization for years, Shay. Where you been? I know you've been here, but where you been? All right, uh, so how to do it. Um, I should just do a whole story series probably or something. Um, even if you don't have a gallbladder, they're amazing from what I understood. Um, but it, yeah, it helps support your liver a lot and you should definitely check it on. Oh, oh, check it out. A, a weird question. Does it turn you on to do it? No, it's not a sexual thing. <laughs> you're just laying there on your right hand side and you're just chilling there and you're boop. I mean, it's not really like that, but. <laughs> Is it decaf? It's not decaf, actually. So, um, so I'm really caffeine sensitive, actually. So I love this. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. You haven't heard of those before? Just check it out. Oh, you definitely poop after it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, has to be organic coffee, no mold. I appreciate that. 
My bubba is sleeping right here. You guys want to see the sweetest boy? Can you guys see the sweetest boy ever? Can you see him right there? Look at him. He's just sleeping there watching mom. He's being so, so careful over there. He's so carefully watching mommy, making sure mommy is so safe. He is just the sweetest boy that ever was. Love him so much. Best son ever. I just had to leave that part of the video in because we all need a flu break from all this craziness, don't we? And he is really cute. Casey, I was just diagnosed with a chronic lung disease. Never smoked a day in my life. Physicians, I have no idea, nor do I, how I got it. Long story short, living as healthy as possible. What in your line would be best for me to start with, please? For me, honestly, the answer is nutrition. Like, a lot of this is nutrition, and a lot of us are just eating like crap, right? So, I mean, I can even, even honestly say there, like, I used to not... Am I crazy about organic now? Yeah. Crazy. Like, full-blown crazy. I flip over every single thing. Ingredients. You have added stuff in it, forget about it. I'm out, right? It's so heavy on vegetables, which is so weird, because I'm definitely bloated again from the vegan, but, like, I don't care, you know? It's like, I feel so much better. It's fine. Um, the preps. So, nutrition. And then I would just talk to people who have something similar. You'd be surprised. There's probably support groups that have the same thing. I'm not in support groups because I feel like they're just too negative. Uh, like, the, the cancer ones are just too negative. Maybe you're, you'll you have a better experience, so. Are you a certified nutritionist now? Wow, you certainly wear a lot of hats, don't you, Jessie Lee? Okay, so... Um, I am really tempted, babe, I am tempted right now to say something so freaking petty, but you know I won't. I'm really tempted. I'm, gonna sh I'm about to shut this sh down with one statement. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm just saying, y'all think you know what you're talking about, and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to look so stupid when everything comes out. Is that so, Jessie Lee? I look forward to reacting to it for you. Okay, so... I'm not going to do it because I respect that man and we make decisions together. But I will tell you, I have opinions that I won't share. You're not going to say it because you respect that man. Well, I've got two things to say about that. Sometimes the way you talk to him doesn't show any respect at all. And later on in this video, more information is going to come to light. And I can't see you respecting the decision that was taken at that point. So stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. Um, what diet would you consider to help with overall health? Okay, this, this is something that now, even more than ever, and I think I've always said this actually, listen to your body. Like my body felt so good when I was carnivore for so long and I started adding in, you know, fruits and I was adding in just carbohydrates and whatever and I wasn't even carnivore anymore. Um, and then when I switched it and then, and then obviously with the whole cancer stuff, I switched to vegan. I feel unbelievable when we go vegan, went to keto, felt like garbage. Okay. Um, total garbage and went back to vegan. So my energy the last two and a half weeks was really bad. I mean, I don't know if you would say so. It was very low. It was like, every, and it's, it's the, I guess it's the animal products or whatever. Um, but I felt like garbage. Two days back on vegan and I'm like, woo -wee! So listen to your own body. Um, and I did do the blood testing and everything to see what my, what doesn't work in my body. But nonetheless, and it said basically like, eat meat, don't eat vegetables. Um, so I am bloated for sure. My stomach is like, whoa, um, but all good. Questions like that from people in the chat are part of the reason why people like me make content because why on earth would you be asking someone who knows absolutely nothing about nutrition what you should eat why is that a problem well jesse lee walls has a lot of followers and they ask questions like that and also questions about how she's treating her cancer and she is not medically qualified to give you any of that information. Yes, she can share her journey. But as I have said in many other videos, she should have disclaimers saying that she is not medically qualified. And she doesn't. Your pups are so cute. Did you get them both at the same time to grow together? Um, so I, uh, it's not what it seems like, Christy, by the way, but I'm just not talking about it. They're all lying to you, like, multiple times. Just trust me. Uh, I'll, we'll show you later, just not today or anytime in the very near future. So um, I got Kumba first, and then I actually went to Israel, ironically. 
<laughs> went to Israel when Kumba was the baby, and I dropped him off at my friend's house who had a puppy. And they played together, played together, played together, played together, played together, played, 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 played. And when I went to pick him up after, I think I was gone 10 or 14 days or something like that, it was a long trip to Israel. I get back and Kumba, like, who has always been obsessed with me, by the way, didn't even want to get in the car with me. Like, he was like, ah, you know, ah, like trying to go back to the, my friend's house because his little buddy was there. And that day I said, oh my God, he needs a brother or a sister. I thought she was still sleeping here. She's not. And so I went to uh, back on Pet Finder, found the pound in Anne Arundel County, um, Anne Arundel County, Maryland, and I rescued little Pitbull Wookie Lee from a um, from a whatever the a dog fighting ring they said. They said she was a bait dog. She was going to be a bait dog. Eight weeks old. She was white with blue eyes, obviously. So um, so he was maybe six months old when I got her. And then, so they, so they did grow up together. Yes. And they're not good when they're not together. Like they miss each other so much. It's crazy. Like, so, um, one of, one of the dog walkers walks them separately and she, like she, hum, 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 hum. when he's out there, she's hum, 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 dragging her toes, like, like really slowly throughout the house. Like, like where is my brother? She doesn't even like walking. So anyway, yeah, Shay, you an OG over here. That was eight years ago that that apartment complex was like, no pit bulls allowed. You got a pit bull without asking. And they were like, you either are going to get evicted or you got to move out. And so I was like, all right. And I moved out. Um, so anyway, that was so fun. I think it's awesome that you rescued your dog from the pound. I can't believe that you don't walk them, though. I mean, they're your babies. You love them to bits. They're the best dogs ever, but you don't actually walk them yourself. I would have thought, being at the top of Prove It, as you keep telling everyone, that you would have plenty of time to walk them. I'm so glad I rescued her too. But who rescued who? She my little baby, you know what I mean? So this was funny, my mom was here, right? So my mom comes here, and we have this thing where like everybody who's around me <coughs> on a consistent basis, <coughs> funny in my throat. <sighs> knows that I'm very bad at eating, okay? So like I'm bad at the, you know, you eat this many meals, whatever. I was like, no, I'm not hungry, no, I'm not hungry, no, I'm not hungry, no, I'm not hungry. But then I like snacks. So I'll like open the, I'll open the fridge or the, open the cupboard and I'll grab snacks, grab snacks, grab. And I didn't even think about it until my mother was here. And every time I'd say, hey, should we go get food? She'd be like, uh, we can go a little later if you want to. I'd be like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we can go a little later. And then um, I just got this water jug from Costco. It's metal. Because, you know, I'm like anti-plastic these days. Um, so anyway. Uh, and then I'd catch her. Every time I'd walk into my living space, my mom would be snacking. And Carissa said to me, she's like, you are just like your mom. You do not eat, but then you snack. <laughs> I like little snackies. I like some snacky purrs. What you've just said there about being a snacker, and not a person who eats regularly and properly. That is why I find it incredulous that your followers ask you for dietary advice. Trigger warning for anyone who is triggered by talk of cannabis. All right, so yeah, we went to, you're a snack monster too. See, Becky, I knew I liked you. Mm. Have I considered medical cannabis for your cancer? A medical cannabis character. So I... This is interesting you asked this. I have a question. So my friend Gary Heyer, he did send me cannabinoids. I tried them the other day and I really felt like, whoa. And he's like, you shouldn't have felt high. Very limited level of THC. I'm like, I don't really feel like I, I don't know. But I, um, how do I, how do I explain this? There was this person one time and I was really stressed. Okay, so by the way, never was like a pot smoker, ever, ever, ever. I smoked pot two times in college, fell asleep both times, didn't like it, was like, what are we doing here? Really like my snack, my snack monster nature. Um, probably would have, like if I would have stayed awake, I would have just gained 500 pounds or something, okay? Because I heard that like marijuana makes you hungry or something, okay? So then there was this person, I was very stressed out when I joined Prove It um, almost six years ago. And this person was like, you need to get high. I'm like, F it, man. I'm stressed. This person lives in Henderson, so like in, in the Vegas area. And this person gave me gummies. This person gave me, a, a, not a pipe, that's the wrong word. What is that thing? Is it called a vape? Like, is it the same thing? 
No, it wasn't CBD. Is it called a is it called a vape? Like a THC vape? So anyway, like the like the a cart. Okay, so whatever it was, she gives me gummies, cookies, uh well, we went to a dispensary or whatever, uh, the little thing, she's higher than hell. And I'm like, I feel nothing. Like, I think I'm so stressed out that I feel nothing. She's like, I smoke every day. It calms my anxiety. The person ends up drinking ketones and then doesn't end up having anxiety, which no medical claims, by the way, she was the one who said that. Um, and I'm just telling a story, but I just have never smoked pot since then. Like that was from ugh, almost six years ago and I still wasn't even high then. So I never really understood it. Everything you just said there about what you got from that lady and what it did to you and the fact that she said she gets high all of the time because of her anxiety is a total blatant lie. None of that actually happened and that is coming straight from the horse's mouth so to speak of the person you are talking about um but then like i feel like i got high one time like i ended up eating like she sent me home with a bunch of edibles to texas nope to maryland at the time and i get to maryland i was so scared i was gonna get arrested on the plane <laughs> So stupid. I'm just a goody two-shoes, though. So I'm like, oh, I'm so nervous the whole time. So then I ate, like, all the rest of the gummies. And then I was, like, so high the whole next day. And I didn't like it. Like, I was, like, not, and, like, not high, but I was, like, very slow. You know what I mean? Like, whoa. So I didn't really like that. And then, um, and then I had Delta 9 when I was first getting, before I got diagnosed. I had a Delta 9 gummy. From Kush Cube. Kush Cube. You guys should buy them. I don't know. Um, go ahead, Carissa. You're amazing. Thank you. Um, I had a... <laughs> Carissa probably remembers this. I had a gummy from Kush Cube. Just one. And I had it the night before. And I went to bed. And it's Delta 9, which I don't know if it has THC or not. Some of you are probably further along. Okay? I do not need THC. CBG and CBN are great for cancers. Thank you. I did not know. So cannabinoid. Really? I was messed up. I went, I will still, I will never forget this. I went to my first, um, I went to my first doctor's appointment or whatever. I felt like Cheech and Chong. Yes. The, the lady's like, I'm like so high. I'm laying there on the bed or whatever, or like the thing. And she's like, Hey, sweetie. Does, she was so nice. Hey, sweetie. Does any of this hurt? I'm like, nothing hurts. And then she gets here. And I was like, I mean, that kind of hurts. She's like, honey, that's where it says the cancer is, honey. I'm like, oh, no. And so I get back in the car. I'm, I, I swear I'll never forget this in my life. I'm sure I have a photo of it, too, because, you know, we talked about this. I'm, like, taking photos of everything, screenshot and everything. And um, I'm driving home. I'm literally driving home. And I'm in the left lane, like I usually am, because usually I'm, like, zoom, zoom, okay? And I'm driving, and I'm like, I'm driving so fast. I have got to slow down. And I noticed people kept passing me. People don't usually pass me. So I'm like, and I look down and I'm like, I was going like 50 miles an hour in the left-hand lane on a Texas highway where our speed limit is of 75, which is just a suggestion in Texas. I was like, these people, but oh my God. I, I was literally that person like, <laughs> so uh, not really my thing, okay? you just called yourself a goody two-shoes. Can you explain how you work that out, please? Because in my opinion, you're far from that. Just admitted to driving your car when you're high. You said many times that you drive your car well over the speed limit and you are living with a married man who has abandoned his children so in my opinion i don't think there is anything good about any of those things so a goody two shoes you are definitely not okay but cbd cool yeah yeah i'd be down to do some more cbd stuff gary hire is a big fan of that um stage four killing it crushing it curing it uh naturally love that guy as far as i'm concerned that statement is more misinformation because even if you are in remission from cancer, it is not cured. You got pulled over for going too slow in the fast lane before. That would have been me. They would have pulled me over. Because I was like... And I was so focused. I was so focused on those two lanes. This is me. And then I found out I was going extremely slow.
Driving like a granny. I was driving the Range Rover, but you could be a comedian. Appreciate you. Driving like a granny in the Lamborghini. Hell yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Recreational gummies. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. The block party has continued all night long. Um, yes, I am a big seven hour a night sleeper. Um, I want to know something funny. Christy says, I found you from the anti MLM videos, but I ended up liking you. And then she says, ha ha face, a heart face. And then she loves to choke me. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> Appreciate you. That happens a lot. Honestly speaking. This, uh, my style vault says, ha ha, me too. <laughs> you guys are great. Scary Sue says, same guys. Thank you. So hello. If you think you hate me, just stick around for a while. You'll realize who the real cuckoo birds are and it's not me. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't hate you. 95% of anti MLM creators don't hate you either. In fact, the majority of them have never even met you. And people who are in their right mind know that they can't hate someone that they haven't met. They may not like things that you do and say, but they do not hate you. Good news, we've got another floof break coming up now. Boy, do we need it because we still haven't got to the end. And there's more and more to come. You want to come say hi to mom? Hey, what, does daddy have something that smells good? No, come here. Him's have those pea toes. Him's has pea toes. It smells like funyuns in here. You've never smelled a funyun before. Hi, little one. Can you take a little nappy? Yeah. I can see. Thank you. You're so sweet. Sweetest girl. It's just, oh, the shininess. You see the shininess? I'm sorry. Did it distract you? I'm so sorry. Is there a ghost in here? There might be a ghost. Or maybe it's just rhinestones. Do I make more than Ivory Ram? Bruh. I'm a rich bitch. Naomi says, tell them the truth how Naomi couldn't have you disappointed by Israel and so she had to pray and send you a Sabra to make uh, you really get it. <laughs> what does that mean? What's a Sabra mean? Sabra? Yeah. What does that mean? You have a great holiday too, Danny. Sabah Happy Fourth of July. Yeah, I like this. Naomi, I love that we've got the Israelis on here now to defend. Naomi goes, you are shameful. You are shaming someone and that's against the Torah. Oh, snap. The Israelis have come to fight. Da, 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 da. Oh, and of course, Jesse Lee, you don't ever shame anybody, do you? Do we live together? Of course. Uh, if you've just accepted a new role, improve it. Will you still be able to do these lives and updates, etc.? Yes, it's not either or. This is not like a nine to five job. I'm not flying into Kentucky. My job is vice president. Uh, it's vice president of field development and leadership, I believe is the official title. I'm the only VP in all of Prove It, so I'm the VP of Prove It. No, you're not the VP of Prove It. You have a job title, so therefore you are not the vice president of Prove It. Because if you were, that would be your job title. And it isn't, so therefore, you're not. I actually was the one who pitched the idea two and a half years ago. I was like, you want me to bring this whole company together? You want me to bring this whole company together? Okay, let's do this. Um, and so, anyway, rock and roll, here we go. So, Prove It is already on a rocket ship to the moon, but now it's my job to just go crazy. Um, I love that. So, it's funny. So, I'll tell you that story really fast. And... Um, and uh, it's, it's funny. So I, um, <laughs> I went to Israel, I've been there before, but did not enjoy it. I was super single. And when I was there, I was like telling, I, I we had just come from Jordan. Okay. Where I have a, I, I'm a tr very attracted to Arab features. I like the dark beards, the dark eyes, the dark hair, the good head hair, the darker skin, like it's just my type. It's the same reason I like Italians from the South, right? It's the same thing. It's the same thing with the Greeks. They have the dark hair, the thick hair, the heck, whatever. It's how I like it, okay? So we had just left Jordan where I was single as a Pringle, and I'm like, yes! 
And then our next stop was there, Israel. We get to Israel. I'm like, I literally told Mateo and Sasha, I'm like, where are the men that I'm attracted to? Because I do not see any of them. I literally, I, uh, 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 okay. Uh, and so I actually left Israel early. Like, I'm like, I'm out of here. I flew back to Jordan. That's how much I was like, I see no, no, pro I would call them prospects. I'm like, I see no prospects. Everyone here to me but is you ugly. Didn't go just to meet men. Well, you know, I went to see Jesus too. Yes, Avi Ram. She did go just to meet men. <gasps> no, I didn't go just to meet men, but whatever my jawline, thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> but anyway, it was kind of like one of those trips. We were just having a lot of fun. We were partying. We were sightseeing. We were being crazy. Three best friends all over the all over Europe and the Middle East, okay? We were gone for a month and we saw a bunch of places. So, I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm not attracted to anything. I don't see anybody attractive. Everyone I see is either unattractive or they're mean. Like, they're mean. Uh, and so, I said, I'm leaving. I booked my own separate flight. I flew out. I left. I went back to Jordan. Uh, and then I flew off to Greece. <laughs> True story. Uh, like, a week later, I'm in. I'm back in America. And, uh, and yeah. You know, what can I say? We, uh, we both, boop, boop, swiped. And then I, it was like something about having an accent. I'm like, where are you from? He's like, Israel. I'm like, <laughs> because Mateo, Sasha, and I all did not like Israel. So all of us are like, we're never going back there again. We've had enough. It's too expensive. People are mean. It's overrated. It's too crowded. Da, 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 whatever. Uh, now I'm like, I guess we're going back to Israel. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> So whatever prayers Naomi was praying were very strong. Naomi's prayers were answered by sending you a married man. That is just gross. You know nothing about my relationship. You know nothing about whatever. Obviously, I am very happy. I think this is kind of one of those she's exuding joy all the time kind of things. Uh, if I wanted relationship advice, I would probably call a relationship therapist. I wouldn't come on Facebook and message you. But if this is where you come for your um, your therapy sessions, that's cool. Um, I actually think sometimes people join me and prove it because they think that my training is cheaper than them going to therapy. I would recommend to you therapy. Balling is not necessarily just money. If I want to go to a suite at the Rangers game, I have a suite. If I want to go to a suite at the Cowboys game, I have one. If I want to go to a suite at the Stars game or a Mavericks game, I have one. If I want to fly on a private jet, I can. See, I think the difference is that you're relying on men for your money. I make my own. See yourself out. Thank you. Are you showing your privilege there, Jessie Lee? Are you trying to make yourself sound like a billionaire? Because we all know you're not. And you may have sweets at all those places, but do they actually belong to the corporate of Prove It? To the CEO of Prove It? You may have access to them, but they're not actually yours, are they? All right. Um, Y'all forgot he didn't know who she was when he swiped. I know that's right. Yeah, he had no idea who I was. So there was no like, ooh, I can get this girl. And he picked me up from the airport. So he didn't see my cars. He didn't see anything. I didn't have cars on my Bumble profile or anything like that. So, um. Are you saying that he couldn't take your picture and look you up on the internet? Because if that is what you're saying, then you're extremely naive. I'm not very computer literate, but even I can manage to reverse search a photograph of a person and discover about them. It's not exactly rocket science, is it? So he could have known exactly who you were. Um, what advice would you give a woman whose husband won't give a get? Um, I don't have any advice on that, actually. Now, that is something, in my opinion, that I think you should be giving advice on. If people don't know what a get is, I'm not 100% certain, and anyone can correct me in the comments if I don't get this quite right. I have said in my other videos that I do have a memory issue, so I might not get this right. But a get is something in Orthodox Jewish culture where the man has to give the get to the woman so that she can move on with her life. So basically this is what Aviram needs to do with the wife he's just left and allegedly an appointment was made for that to happen and he didn't turn up. 
Well, if he's so happy with you, Jessie Lee, then why didn't he turn up to let his wife go? Perhaps you can answer that question. The stuff, I love talking about business. I love talking about marketing. I love talking about sales. I love talking about recruiting. I love talking about scaling. I love talking about all this leadership stuff and business stuff. Um, and so I would actually go learn something, read a book, and then I would train it. That was really how I started doing everything. All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I do. Wow. And people are paying you thousands of dollars to join your accelerator. And all you do is learn from a book and then explain it to other people. Really? That's not what I call training. And it definitely doesn't make you qualified if that's really all that you do. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you have got some value from it. If you have, then give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel so that we can continue sharing the anti-MLM message far and wide to help other people to not join or get out or both. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.